Happy Friday, folks. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ellipsis. Today, we're going for a bit of variety. I haven't done that for a while. We sort of focused on sets for quite some time. So we're going back to uh, dipping into a few different products. We're going to open the Hooper V-Box. I haven't opened one of these since the early days of me collecting. I don't even think I've opened one on the channel before. I think it was before I set up the channel. Two packs of Evolving Skies in there. These are really nice boxes. We also have a Bolton V-Box with three packs inside. Honestly, can't remember what packs they were. Brilliant Stars, maybe something else. And we also get five packs of Paradox Rift. I went out to my store uh, this morning and picked up some more packs. So we've got five packs Paradox to rip into two. Two, two, two. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what else we can find. Hopefully some extra cards that we didn't pull yesterday with Paradox. And uh, maybe some hits from Fusion Strike. Two packs in there. Or potentially Evolving Skies. So come on in. Let's rip them open. Try and find something good. So I think we'll start with the Bolton V Showcase box. I've seen these before. Um, they just come with a promo card that you would normally get in the V box and a few packs. I think it's just to sort of minimize packaging. You don't need the oversized card, then this sort of product's for you. But it's uh, it's pretty decent. Let's uh, get the packs out and see what's inside. There's a code card. We have our promo, uh, 219, Bolt V. Got quite a few of those now. Um, I did open a fair few Bolt V boxes back in the day. Uh, and yeah, we get two brilliant stars and the Rebel Clash. I forgot the Rebel was in there. So uh, that one goes set aside for my son. He will be happy. Uh, he's got quite a stack actually to open though. We're gonna have to, gonna have to get him to open some, see what pulls are inside. But we get two brilliant stars. So that's those. We will start with those. Uh, I think we'll leave Paradox for after Fusion Strike. Might as well just get it all out now, though. And uh, we will end, as we always do when it's on offer, with Evolving Skies. So with the Hooper V-Box. I'm actually quite a big fan of Hooper, quite like his character. So uh, you get a Black Star promo. With this box, obviously, you get the oversized card too, which isn't too bad. Got a few of those as well. Uh, and, oh, interesting. There's a Vivid Voltage in there and an Evolving Sky. So these used to come with two Fusion Strikes, two Evolving Skies. So we've only got one chance for a fantastic pull from Evo but I'm quite happy in a way I I am going to open some uh, Vivid in the next week or two and I'm quite kind of hyped up to be opening some so yeah I mean I'm not madly disappointed about not having a second pack of Evo Evo will go at the end we'll put them there uh, put Vivid there Fusion can go after brilliant and we'll just rip in, see what we can find. Hopefully something shiny and nice. Wouldn't say no to an alt art. But we're going to switch between different sets, different eras. Uh, this was brilliant, so four to the front, which is something I'm going to have to remember. We have a V-Star to start off with. Choice Belt. Luxio. Hitmontop. Execute. Grimer, Sneasel, we have a Bidoof, Electabuzz, we get a Reverse Luxio, and we just have a Hollow Bibarel, although that doesn't ring a bell. I might need that for the binder, so I'll keep those to one side. That might be pretty cool, actually. Second pack of Brilliant. Still looking for quite a lot of cards from Brilliant, actually. Um, in terms of trainer gallery uh, sets, the sort of the last four 
uh, or five, I guess, of Sword and Shield era. Brilliant Stars is actually one of the, the least populated binders I have. So we have a Lightning Energy, Barry, Clang, Gabite, Carablast, Clefairy. Sorry if the light isn't quite shining right. We've got Cheruby, Sork, Corfish, <coughs> Corfish, Tropius in reverse, and a Kling Clang non hollow. Okay. Uh, let's separate you. Dipping back to Fusion Strike, that set. Who knows? One of these days, it's gonna completely take me by surprise. It could be today. We have a good code card. Let's hope for the best. We have a Fighting Energy, Pangoro, Diggersby, Sydney, Smeargle, Quillfish, Tynamo, Meowth, Gossifler. The reverse is an Indeedy and that looks like the bottom of the Celebi alternate art to me. But it might not be. It's nice, I think, it's a full art. We get the Hooper V full art. Of all the uh, of all the back end cards, this is one that I do already have. Which kind of sucks, but we got a pull from Fusion Strike, finally. Um, this is a very nice, very nice card. I did say earlier, big fan of Hooper. And uh, yeah, certainly not mad to pull that. Can you imagine if it had been the Celebi again, though? I do have one of those as well. Great pull. Very happy with that. We will have to check to see if it's any better centred than the one that's in my binder at the moment. But we get hit on the board, and it comes from that set. This is the, this is the tease. The tease that Fusion Strike gives us. Let's go through this one quick. It's a bad code card. I've seen error code cards in Fusion Strike. I had a whole booster box that was uh, white-bordered code cards were the, were the actual hits. So you can never say no, but I don't think this will be. We get a Tutor, we have Zero Aura, and a Vicavolt non-hollow. So surprisingly... Fusion Strike steps into the lead very early on. Let's see if Vivid... I'll stop my sentence there, because we know the answer. Really looking forward to opening a good stack of Vivid and uh, attacking the binder, doing a binder video for the weekend uh, following it. Um, Certainly needs a lot of work, but actually I've opened fair, a fair amount of Vivid over the, the last eight, ten months. So it's not looking too bad. There are worse binders. We have an Oshawott, Crocorock in reverse, and a Lycanroc non-hollow. So there's our Vivid out of the way. Okay. We, I'm really happy about this. I, I'm actually really enjoying Paradox Rift. Yesterday's opening was a blinder. Wasn't really sure what I was doing at first. I have managed to look at the set now. And obviously we did pull the biggie. Roaring Moon EX really was a special card to pull on the first big opening. So take the code card. And uh, these were the first five packs out of a brand new... Um, half booster box like I showed yesterday so I'm hoping by taking five in one lump from the front we should manage to pull some at least one maybe two good good pulls we get a wug trio blind side technical machine iron bundle minin in reverse 
we get Mantike. Mantike is a very cool illustration rare. This one I've seen a lot of people talking about wanting. Mantike is very, very nice to pull. And we get a Tinglu Hollow. Paradox Rift is, for now, delivering really, really well. Um, I had 18 packs yesterday. I pulled six hits. So, you know, one in three packs. That's really... Uh, average pull rates, I guess, is one in three to one in five, depending on the set. So for this to be one in three so far means... It's really fun to open. Okay. Second pack. Let's see. We have a Psychic Energy. Nimble. Your Mask. Spinder. Tinker Tink. Rika. Screamtail. Professor Sala's Vitality. We get a Reverse Flamigo. We get a reverse vanillite and we have a hollow volcanion. A couple of good reverses there. Um, obviously, we're very early days. I have gone through all of the cards that we pulled yesterday and I've sort of ticked them off on my tracker app. We're about 34%, I think, into the set. Um, and uh, that includes reverses. <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me that includes reverses too so actually not doing too bad considering we've opened 19 packs in total to get to that point we have a darkness energy phoebus apon galvantula mantike defiance vest balooza turbo energize technical machine we get a hollow a uh, reverse hollow age slash and a reverse hollow wisma and a hollow deoxys uh, again a couple of those you know the reverses are good it's going to be a while before we really sort of start to struggle with some of the reverses in the packs being ones that we already have and uh, yeah hopefully we can make a really good sort of hit into the main set it's going to take a long long time to really deliver most most of the back end of the uh, the binder the bigger pools there are a lot we have a bound suite tatsugiri gorgeist vanillax we have a dublade in reverse, we have a Zubat in reverse, and we get an EX. Galissapod EX. So we haven't doubled up on an EX yet, which is really nice. Uh, there are uh, tw uh, 20, 20 EX cards in this set from the main set. So even that is going to take some time to, uh, to collect up, to populate the binder. Uh, as you know, typically when I do my bindering, I need two of each. So I actually need 40 EX from the main set, which is nuts. Uh, it's possible I probably won't try to open enough packs to, to get all 40. I'll probably try and buy some singles. And that's just purely for visual, how I like my, my binders to look. We have a Lightning Energy, Onyx. Flittle, Nicket, Nackley, Cyclazar, Professor Toro Scenario, Mian Shao. We have a Toad's Crawl in reverse. We have a Counter Catcher in reverse. And we have a Thievil Hollow. So, yeah, definitely uh, a few extra cards that we haven't seen. So far, I'm pretty sure the Thievil is new. Uh, there's been some cards that we've <clears throat> come across, just regular cards from the set that we did need. There's a lot of reverses that we did need. And uh, I still need a binder <laughs> to put them all in. But for now, we are going to end on 
and a pack of Evolving Skies. Let's see what Evolving Skies can bring us. Um, I would say that um, in terms of pulls today, these should win. These should win. But the fact that we actually pulled something from Fusion Strike kind of is the win for me. <laughs> Not going to show you what code card was. Just to keep the secret alive. Hopefully a good pack. We have a Water Energy, Switching Cups, Tentacruel, Boldor, Nickit. We have a Bergmite, a Carvana, <coughs> a Gossifler, Slackoth. We have a Reverse Scroll of the Fang Dragon and we have a Hollow Kyurem. Qrem. I believe it's Qrem. So, yeah, I mean, nothing too fancy. Nothing too fancy. But that was fun. Fun opening. We would have, would have had an extra pack, uh, but Rebel Clash goes to my son, obviously. But in terms of pulls, I'm very happy. That that I'm happy about, but it's a duplicate, so there's limited joy there. Uh, possibly I might look to see what sort of prices I can, can get, and uh, possibly it goes on eBay. Um, but we get another EX for Paradox Rift, and we pull what? I think is considered as one of the best illustration rares from Paradox Rift. That's really cool. It's a cute card. Awesome. Really happy with that. Um, let me know. Are you opening Paradox Rift launch day? Happy uh, happy Paradox Rift launch day to you all. Hopefully you've managed to find some. Hopefully if you ordered some, it's been delivered now. And uh, yeah, I hope you're having fun ripping into it. And if you haven't already, do have some fun over the weekend. Um, I will be back tomorrow with a binder video for 151. We haven't populated the binder in a couple of weeks and we've got a, a decent stack of cards to put in now. Uh, binders are going to look pretty sweet by the end of it too. So join me tomorrow for the binder population video and we'll do a quick review and a bit of music, pretty chill. And uh, yeah, until then, I shall see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend. Uh, if I don't catch you on Saturday, have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you on Monday for a new video.